Hey y'all, I am coming to you as I am doing a wash and go. And as I told you before, um, I was doing them while my hair is in twist to kind of stretch it out. And as you can see, um, my hair is in twist and my hair is actually damp. It's not soaking wet. And I decided to do this method to um, help kind of stretch my hair out so that it wouldn't shrink up as much. Um, because I do have a lot of shrinkage, but I didn't want it to shrink up as much to kind of prevent or cut down on the tangling. And I wanted to show you what I'm using. I'm using the Curl Junkie Smoothing Lotion as my leave-in conditioner. And I am using the Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic as my um, gel styler. And I'm using the Curl Junkie Curls in a Bottle as a finisher. And what I'm doing is I'm just putting that on the top at the end because it's supposed to help decrease on um, the crunch of the gel. Um, so I'm using that as my finisher. So basically, um, yeah, I washed my hair while it was in twist. And um, I rinsed my hair and then I used a t-shirt to plop my hair. And I plopped my hair... Um, for about 10 or 15 minutes and um, for those that don't know what plopping is, that's basically taking a t-shirt and tying it around your hair to help um, increase your drying time. And um, you just do that instead of using a towel to um, dry your hair because um, it helps to keep, because um, if you use a towel, it'll probably cause your hair to snag. So it's kind of better to use a t-shirt to plop your hair with. And basically, I'm just taking some of the curling magic and I'm just smoothing it down on my hair. And I'm keeping it in a stretched state. And I'm just smoothing it down from the root to the tip. And I want to make sure that I have product on the whole length of my hair. So I'm just starting at the root and working my way down. And I found that this helps to also um, decrease on tangles just making sure that my hair is still always in a stretched state because before when I was doing wash and goes last year I was just kind of raking the product in my hair the same way that I did when I had a um, TWA and of course my hair was shorter back then so it didn't matter but now that my hair is longer I just always want to keep my hair in a stretched out state and just make sure that I have product on all the, uh, the whole length of my hair. And I like this um, Curl Junkie because it's thin with a consistency of it. It's kind of thin so it's easier to kind of work it in your hair. Um, with the other gel that I used, it was um, actually thicker so it's kind of hard to get in my hair but I was able to smooth it in but it's just easier to work with the curling magic and you hear me running water <laughs> after I apply the gel because um I can't just go from putting the leave-in conditioner to the gel in because it gets that white chunky look so once I apply the gel I just rinse my hair and then I go back and get some more um leave-in conditioner so that I won't have that white chunky look on my hair. Um, it's okay when it's on my hair, it mixes together, but um, on my hands, if I try to mix it together in my hands, it gets this white chunky look. So I'm just rinsing my hair in between the applications once I apply the gel, when I try to go to the next section and get some more leave-in conditioner, I just um, rinse my hands off so I don't get that white chunky look. And I have been wearing this style all week, a wash and go. I think I've washed my hair maybe one time in between. And not really washed my hair because I didn't use shampoo. But um, I co-washed my hair. And my hair feels really moisturized with this style. With this style. So I'm liking this and I'm not afraid <laughs> to do wash and goes anymore. So that's a style option for me again because before I was just always afraid of tangling and single strand knots. But so far since I've been doing my hair, I haven't encountered that problem yet. But it's a style option for me now instead of just always being afraid to do them. And I know... Um, when I do a wash and go, it's going to be a wash and go for 
Um, so I'm cool with that because when I when my hair dries, it's gonna shrink up and out. So I'm cool with that. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to come to you and just show you how I stretch my hair out as I'm doing my wash and go. And I just took another twist down. And like I said, as I take each one down, I apply leave-in conditioner and I apply my styler and I apply it in a downward motion. And I try to keep my hair stretched out the whole time that I am applying the product. And um, you want to make sure that you are applying the product from the root to the tip of your hair. Because you want to make sure that you have product on all of your hair. So that it will help prevent or cut down on tangling. So yeah, I just wanted to come to you and show you guys the method that I've been using um, for my wash and go. And like I said, it's been working for me. And hopefully it will work for some of you when you're after that. TWA stage and your hair has grown out some and you feel like you can't do wash and goes anymore because you have a lot of shrinkage and you're afraid of tangling. This is just a way to do it. Um, just make sure that you're doing your hair in sections because you don't have to do twists. I mean twists work for me but you could just actually do clips all over your hair and just pin your hair up. Just make sure that you section your hair off. It just makes it easier to do when you section your hair off. So hopefully this method can work for some of you. And um, if you decide to try it, um, let me know how it works for you. But it's been working out for me. And sometimes I'll split each section in half to make sure that I'm getting product all uh, over my hair. Because some of them I did make kind of chunky. So I'm just going back in. And like I said, just make sure you're just smoothing it down. And the whole time, just make sure that your hair is stretched out.
Okay, so I've applied the curling magic all over my hair and now I am going to take the curls in the bottle and just use it as a finisher. And one other thing about the curls in the bottle, it um, also helps um, cut down on frizz some. So my crown area isn't as frizzy when I apply it to it and I'm just smoothing this in on my hair on the top part because I get most of the frizz. My hair gets frizz anyway, but it just kind of helps cut down on the frizz on the top part of my hair. And you can actually use the curls in the bottle as an actual styler. I haven't used it as a styler yet, but I know some people um, who do use it as a styler. Some videos that I've watched that have helped me with my wash and go. Um, the first one that I saw um, that were done in twists, it was naturally Nola. I saw her doing hers in twists and it kind of, uh, I was thinking about it anyway, but it gave me an idea when I saw her doing hers and also um, just seeing, I uh, hope I'm pronouncing it right, Danielle doing her wash and go and her technique. And that's also helped me out a lot. So. Yeah, I've been watching different videos trying to get this down. But yeah, I just wanted to come to you and show you how I've been doing this style. And I'm not afraid to do the wash and goes <laughs> anymore. But since I've gotten a little technique done with applying the product from Swiss, and that's helped me out a lot. But I will talk to you guys later. And like I said, I hope this help someone and if it does you know just let me know but i will talk to you guys later bye